Hey, how's it going everyone? This is YLAM here. In today's vlog, I want to talk about my Vendetta. So I've gotten a chance to get out there, fly with some different props and different batteries, and I want to share with you my results. I've been using some four cell batteries and some six cell batteries. So this is a 1800 and this is a 1400. They're kind of comparable in size, although this is definitely heavier. And uh, the performance though, you get out of the six cell, it's pretty good. I also have different propellers out here that I've been trying, so definitely want to report on that. Uh, and uh, let's get into the video. So let's go ahead and go into some of the flying that I've been doing. Uh, the first prop that I want to talk about, and I'm right now at Shelby Campus uh, flying this, is the HQ prop. This is the six inch, six by three by three. And as you can see, when I first took off, I took off really aggressive. And the reason why I was doing that was because uh, this is a heavy quad, right? I'm carrying a GoPro 1800 battery and I'm on a six inch uh, three by three and there wasn't a lot of power. So I was actually over 50% a lot of the time during that flight. When I was actually doing that turn right there, I was actually making sure that I had enough uh, throttle there. I was dipping down because I just didn't realize that, you know, how underpowered it is on four cell with these props. So that's something to keep in mind. It's just not something you want to use for uh, this heavy of a quad but overall though if you didn't mind ha being a little bit underpowered uh, it felt really great um, there's definitely a little oscillation that you felt you can actually see it in the video as I'm moving across and during those long straightaways I'm really checking for whether or not this flies straight or not and as I'm you know going down that uh, long straightaway with the road to my right um, it just it wiggled a little now you got to keep in mind it's also March and you know it's a little windy out right now so that cop probably contributed a little bit to it but uh, this is not my proper choice uh, if you're going to go with a four cell battery flying this but overall though still really like the prop probably would be awesome for a much lighter weight setup. Now if we go ahead and move over to its bigger brother uh, this is the seven inch so this is the I believe this is a seven three by three. Uh, this is a seven three and a half by three. So this is its bigger brother. This is the seven inch model. Again, I'm out at the same place, uh, Shelby Campus, a uh, different day. And as you can see, as soon as I take off, uh, you know, there's a little bit more power there. Uh, definitely feels a lot better. I really like this prop on such a heavy rig uh, for my setup. As I'm going down this straightaway, as you can see, there's a, a bit more oscillation. You can definitely tell on the screen. On the six inch one, uh, I really couldn't tell too much except on those long straightaways where I had a long chance to stare at the screen. But on the seven inch, you can tell that there's gonna be some tuning necessary in order to get rid of the oscillations because you will notice them on the screen. But overall though, it's actually a really great prop. It flies really well, gives you plenty of uh, efficiency because if you go slow with this one, you can definitely easily get under 10 amps of power and uh, have a pretty long flight time. So I was pretty happy with this, um, having it on a four cell battery. Ultimately, I'm not planning to you know, use a four cell battery long term, but still uh, it's very viable. Um, I'm really not sure if this is gonna be viable on six cell, that's the thing though. But as you can see, as I'm flying along, um, it, fl it flies perfectly fine. This is definitely not a freestyle prop though. You're definitely there just to enjoy, you know, the freedom of flight, which is kind of what I'm doing. This is one of my favorite spots to fly. It's at Shelby Campus, and it's just this huge straightaway. And I can play around with it for, you know, uh, without any issue. So definitely a good prop uh, if you just like flying, if you're looking for that long-range efficiency. Uh, my friend uh, Kevin, from, Kevin uh, from Candy Quads, he actually likes flying this prop. It's very smooth, and uh, his feedback on it was that it's the best prop that he has flown uh, for being a very smooth prop, but there's not a lot of top-end power, and as I'm flying around, I kind of have to agree with him. I'm feeling the same thing. It's definitely a very smooth prop. Uh, you will have to do a little bit of tuning, like I said, but once you do that, I think you'll really like the prop. Uh, so just skipping a little bit, I actually wanted to try this one next, but uh, this one is a seven and a half inch prop and it actually did not fit on my quad. I put them in the back position. I put it in the back position and it actually works just fine in the back position. There's plenty of clearance, 
but when I put it in the front position, because the Vendetta is fatter up front, it didn't have the seven and a half inch clearance to be able to use this prop, which kind of sucks because I was really looking forward to using this prop. Just couldn't do it. Let's go ahead and move over to 6L. 6L is where it actually gets fun. So 6L went back to the six inch and uh, this is actually a new place. Uh, I was busy that day. So uh, there's a big field out where I am and this is where I'm flying. On 6L, this thing feels really good. I mean, the oscillation has uh, increased a little bit but like you don't feel it during flight, but uh, you do feel it when you see the, the actual GoPro footage, but it feels really well. This was actually a really windy day. You don't, you don't see it in the video, but it was really windy out. And this prop did just fine cutting through the wind. Uh, I kind of wish I had OSD on there to show you the OSD, but overall when I'm out there flying and I'm sitting there, you know, gaining altitude right here, it felt really good. Uh, this is a really good prop if you just want to fly around and have fun on 6L. Um, it definitely feels a little bit, I don't know, it, it feels like it can be a freestyle prop, but not really. So it's kind of like a, a tweener at this point when you're on 6L. But again, overall, uh, I really enjoy using this prop on 6 inch. Uh, is it my favorite 6 inch prop to use? Uh, now, I actually still has to go to the Dalt prop, which is what I'm using next. But overall, really good prop on 6L. Uh, I don't think you have any problems when I came down. It was a pretty windy day, so uh, it might have helped cool the motors, but the motors didn't have any issues with flying this when I was uh, just out and about flying it around. So the last one to talk about are the Dow props. Um, I didn't have a video of the Dell props on 4S, but on 4S, it felt fine. Uh, it felt really good, actually. And it also, there was a bit of oscillation, which is a bummer because all of these seem to have a little bit of oscillation. I was hoping to find one of these props that had no oscillation right out of the box, but I did not see that all of them has a little bit of oscillation, which means you're going to have to do a little tuning. Keep in mind, this is the seven inch arm, so the tune stock right out of beta flight probably wasn't expecting that. So this video right here is at the baseball park and I was flying around on 6L for the first time on these six inch Dow props. And this by far feels the closest to a freestyle setup. Uh, it, it's not the latest and greatest freestyle setup. Um, it's definitely not you know a powerhouse monster, but there's plenty of power there. I was already getting a little frisky just trying it out on 6L because you can just feel the power there. You know there's stuff to, to really get going if you really want to play around. These are the uh, Dow, let's see, where are they? The Dow 6045, so these are definitely more aggressively pitched. Um, definitely not a problem for these motors because when I come down, I've flown multiple times with them and uh, they don't have any issues. They the motors come down nice and cool, so there wasn't any problems, has plenty of power, and it can still get you really good flight times. If you're really not on the sticks all the time, I'm, rough, I'm roughly averaging about five and a half to six minutes of flight time, and that's coming down with 30% uh, left on the battery. So I'm, I'm landing at 3.8 volts, 3.7, 3.8 volts, because I don't like to push my batteries. You know, I don't drain them all the way down. I always leave about 30% in, and I find that my batteries last significantly longer and that's what I want. One bad side of this is that when you do this you tend to actually go very fast and you want to do freestyle stuff like that and you crash. And I've already took a ding out of this vendetta because of that. So this was what I was trying to avoid when I when I went to a long range setup. I didn't want to do you know freestyle because I didn't want to break more stuff but uh, when you get more power that's that's what happens. You want to go fast and you want to go do a little freestyle, a little proximity and start breaking stuff. Alrighty, three items I want to talk about and we can wrap up this video. One of them is this kickstand right here for the TBS Tango. It's so useful. Uh, if you have a TBS Tango with a crossfire, definitely look into getting one of these. It makes it so that your radio stands in place and it just is so much better than having nothing there. So uh, definitely contact Kevin at uh, Candy Quads if you want him to print one of these out. He uh, offers them at a great price, ships them right to you, and it's super easy to install. One of the greatest things uh, to have for a TBS Tango and Crossfire setup.
Alrighty, the second item I want to talk about is actually carrying your Tango and your Crossfire system. This is something that I learned about from a YouTube video for somebody else that's already done it. I'm just, you know, repeating what he has already said. I apologize, I don't remember his FPV name, but it's super easy to do. This is a Turnigy case that you can buy from Hobby King. You go ahead, when you get it in, you just want to reuse the foam. Hopefully you kept the foam. You want to reuse the foam in which the TBS Tango came in, and then you can pack it into this case. It fits pretty well in there. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get a knife of some sort and cut out these edges right here. And once you cut out these edges, uh, it'll fit in perfectly. Then you can put in your TBS Tango. Another thing that you have to do is that there's actually a pocket right here and it's actually stitched on and it's really tight and doesn't push in so I went ahead and I just cut out uh, that pocket so that it's completely gone that way it fits nicely and it closes up this is what I'm going to be using when I'm traveling like when I'm traveling on an airplane or something like that and I need to uh, have my Tango with me on a daily day-to-day -day basis I actually use a much larger case which I can show you right now this right here is the case that I use. You can pick these up at uh, pretty much any sporting goods stores. They're usually at the firearms department. They're actually meant to carry pistols, like two or three of them. Uh, I just repurpose it to uh, carry my controller. What I like about this is I can have the entire cross uh, fire system uh, completely in place with the antenna attached, crossfire, and a few extra accessories if I wanted to carry them. I then close up the case. And what I did was I added two hooks here so that, let me close this up, I can actually hook on my TBS or uh, my Vendetta and then I can carry this with just one hand because the hooks keep it in place. Makes it easy, super simple to travel with, something that I really enjoy using. So this makes life simple for me. This is my carry case uh, if I have the room to actually carry it. Otherwise, I will separate them out and carry it differently. So, quick look at how I carry everything. If you have any questions, let me know. And until next time, thank you so much for watching. <music>